Hello everyone! Thank you for checking out my channel and for today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to navigate Office Productivity Tools. Okay, so what are the Office Productivity Tools available? We have Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Publisher, and many more. Okay, so each Office Productivity Tools has its own purpose and functionality. Like for example, the Microsoft Word is used to create documents such as newsletters, newspapers, magazines, articles, reports, and even resumes. Okay? How about the Microsoft Excel? So the Microsoft Excel is used to automate the manual transactions of computing and calculations. If you are going to calculate something or your data is requiring calculations, Microsoft Excel is for you. Now, what is Microsoft PowerPoint? So Microsoft PowerPoint is used to create multimedia presentations. Okay? So each Office Productivity Tools again has its own purpose and functionality. Okay? And what are the purpose of these Office Productivity Tools? So these Office Productivity Tools are commonly used in schools offices and even in businesses ano so ginagamit to ng mga estudyante and even the teachers are using uh, these productivity tools for their teaching materials class activities and class requirements ano po and other offices are using productivity tools to automate the manual transactions and processes of the office and of course for other businesses naman ginagamit to, to calculate and create an immediate report doon sa data nila or sa business nila. Okay po? So for today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to navigate the Microsoft Word. Are you ready? I hope so and let's do this. Okay. So first of all, paano ba natin gamitin yung Microsoft Word? Of course, we have to click to open the application. So paano? There are many ways. Pwedeng hanapin natin dito yung icon ng Microsoft Word sa desktop natin. Kung wala, titignan natin dito sa taskbar. Kung wala naman sa taskbar, we have to use this search bar. Okay? So click lang natin yung search bar and click natin Word. And there you have it. Makikita natin dito yung Microsoft Word. Click lang natin yung Word and uh, we will be re redirected to this window. So what's inside this window? So, at the left side of this window, makikita po natin yung recent documents na in natin. Ngayong araw, last week, or older. Ano po? So, dito natin makikita yung mga recent files na in natin. And dito naman, the Microsoft Word is providing available templates. Okay? Pag sinabi natin templates, ibig sabihin, meron tayong already made content. So, all we have to do is to modify the content inside it. Okay? So, meron ditong calendar, resume, table of contents. So, ito yung mga available templates na ibinibigay mismo ng Microsoft Word. Ano po? So, we have brochures, um, ano pa, the reports, and even certificates, ha? Meron na din tayo dito makikita. And of course, kung hindi natin makita dito sa available templates yung mga gusto natin gamitin, pwede tayong mag-search dito sa search for online templates. For example, you're going to use templates for business. So, uh, search natin business templates. So, meron tayo dito available na templates for business. So, all we have to do is to click that template and modify the content. Okay? But for today's uh, video, hindi natin gagawin yon, because we have to create from scratch. Okay? So, click natin tong blank document. Then, you will be uh, directed to this window. Okay? So, uh, we have different parts or major parts of Microsoft Word. Are you aware of that? Alam nyo ba yung mga different parts natin dito? So maybe this is your first time navigating Microsoft Word or you are here just to freshen up. Ano? So now, the first thing na makikita natin po is this window. So Microsoft Word has different parts, major parts actually. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 11. And we have 3 subparts. 
So maybe ngayon yun lang to na encounter and let's find out kung ano to. Okay. So the first part is this area. So the first part is pointing at this area. So ano kaya to? So yung part na to is the file menu. Okay? In the file menu, it provides access to the only menu in Office 2016 or whatever version your Microsoft Office will be. Pare-paras lang po ang tawag dyan ay file menu. Okay? So when you click this button, it shows the following menu such as save, save as, open, close, info print, and other uh, options. Okay? So, tingnan natin dito sa Microsoft Word natin. Asan ba yung sinasabi niyang file menu? So, andito yung file menu daw. Nakikita naman natin as mas madali nating ma-retain kasi meron siyang pangalan file. Okay? So, dito daw natin makikita lahat ng mga menus na available sa Microsoft Word such as the new, open, save, save as, print, and other. Okay? Now, let's say hindi natin alam uh, for example, hindi natin alam yung mga shortcut keys. Like for example, the control plus Z, control plus C to copy, control plus Y to redo, and control plus V to paste, control plus P to print. Of course, yun yung madalas natin ginagamit. What if hindi natin alam lahat yung mga shortcut keys na to? Alam ba natin kung saan tayo pupuntang button or menu para gawin lahat ng yun? Hmm. Kalimutan muna natin yung mga shortcut keys natin para alamin natin kung saan ba tayo pupunta para ma-access natin to. Okay? Now, um, hindi ko alam yung control P, di ba? Sabi ko hindi natin alam lahat ng mga controls or shortcut keys. So, saan ko ba mahanap yung print? Mahanap ko yung print dito po sa file menu. So, click ko lang yung file menu, mahanap ko yung print. What if hindi ko din alam kung paano mag-save? So, just go to the file menu, then mahanap natin dito yung save, save as, how to open file, existing file, and how to create a new file. Okay? And nandito din lang yung mga recent files na in-access ninyo. Okay? So, yan yung laman ng file menu natin. Now, what is the second part? So, the second part is pointing at this area. So, ano kayo yung area na to? So, this area is called the quick access toolbar. So, the quick access toolbar provides access to the most common word commands, including the save, undo, repeat, and copy. In this toolbar, you can customize, add, or delete buttons as well. Okay po? So, hanapin natin yan. Saan nga ba natin makikita yung quick access toolbar? So, andito po siya sa top part. Ayan. Sa pinakataas sa gilid. Okay? So, sabi sa definition, the quick access toolbar provides the most commonly used commands. So, ibig sabihin, andito natin makikita lahat ng mga commands na madalas natin ginagamit. Ano ba yung mga madalas natin ginagamit command? Yung save, di ba? Madalas tayo nagsisave ng document, the undo, redo, and uh, other commands. For example, maglalagay ako dito ng sample data. Okay? So, ito yung sample data ko. Now, makikita natin dito sa quick access toolbar, andito yung undo and redo. So, pag nagtanggal ako dito ng isang paragraph, makikita mo, kapag nag-undo ako, undo, ibig sabihin, ayaw ko nang gawin yung ginawa ko. So, ayan, babalik yung uh, text. Kapag nag-redo naman ako, ibig sabihin, I finally decided na, okay, gawin ko pala yun. Okay? Sabi sa definition, in the quick access toolbar, you can customize add or delete button. So, paano ba tayo mag-customize? Sa so, pag-customize po, click lang natin tong button na to. Then, andito yung mga pwede nating ilagay sa loob ng quick access toolbar. So, bakit nga quick access toolbar yung tawag? We can access commands ng madalian, ng mabilisan. So, instead na mag-print tayo, di ba pa nag-print tayo, sa file natin makikita. Go to file and then makikita natin yung print. But, with the use of quick access toolbar, hindi na natin kailangan pa pumunta sa file para mag-print. Pwede na natin siyang ilagay dito, yung print preview and pre, uh, print, dito sa quick access toolbar. So, paano natin i-add? So, click lang natin yung gusto natin i-add na button. And that's it. So, kung mag-print tayo, andito na siya sa quick access toolbar. Hindi na tayo pupunta doon sa original na location niya. So, we can access the button or command 
quickly. Okay, so click natin to print. Ayan, pwede na ako makapag-print. Ano pa yung mga pwede natin dito? Let's say, gusto kong sa pag-open ng file, mas madali ako na i-access yung command ko. So, click ko lang yung open. Add ko yung open dito. Then, that's it. Nakapag-add na ako ng mga commands dito sa quick access toolbar. Okay po? So, yun po yung um, function ng quick access toolbar. Now, what is the third part? So, the third part is the title bar. Okay? Ito. Ang tawag dito sa part na to ay title bar. So, ta the title bar shows the open program and the name of the open file. Ibig sabihin po, yung title bar daw, um, dito natin makikita kung ano ba yung name ng file na ginagamit natin. Okay, so saan natin makikita yung title bar? Actually, yung title bar is andito sa pinaka gitna and pinaka taas ng window natin. Okay? So makikita mo ngayon, ang title ng file natin is document1. Bakit document1? Kasi po, the Microsoft Word um, assigned a default name doon sa file mismo. Okay? So, document 1, ibig sabihin po, your file is not yet saved. So, anong gagawin po para palitan natin tong default name na inassign ng Microsoft Word? Of course, we have to save first this document. So, saan tayo pupunta mag-save? Pwede dito sa file or pwede din dito sa quick access toolbar. So, gamitin na natin tong quick access toolbar. Click lang natin tong save. Then, that's it. Meron siyang uh, nire-require na input from the user. So, ano yun? Of course, first is the directory. Saan ko ba isa-save yung file ko? Of course, maghanap pa ako ng directory, let's say, dito sa document. Click ko lang yung document. Then, another one is the name of the file. So, dito na natin ilalagay yung gusto natin pangalan ng file. Uh, usually, ito yung um, summary ng kabuang file na nilalagay natin. For example, lagay ko is trial file 2. So, ito yung document ko, trial file 2. Okay? So, click ko lang save and kung makikita mo dito sa top part, sa title bar, makikita mo bago na or iba na yung title niya. Which is yung um, file or name na inassign natin. Okay? Bakit po siya tinawag na title bar? Kasi dito natin makikita yung title name ng file natin. What is the next part? The next part will be ito, this area daw. This area, ano daw yung tawag natin dito? So, this area is called the ribbon. Okay? So, what is the ribbon? The ribbon contains the commands organized in three components. So, what are those? The tabs, groups, and commands. So, titignan natin. Alin ba yung tabs? Alin ba yung groups? And alin ba yung commands? Okay. So, yung tabs po na sinasabi natin, kasi ito yung ribbon, di ba? The ribbon uh, is composed of three components, the tabs. So, alin ba yung tab? Ito yung tab. So, lahat ng to ay tinatawag nating tab. The home tab, insert tab, design tab, layout tab, and other tabs. Okay? So, um, ano pa yung isang component? The groups. So, alin naman yung groups dito? Sabi dito, groups organizes related commands. Group name appears below the group ribbon. So, the group are organized as different commands. So, we have different groups available here. Paano natin ma-identify yung group? Of course, it is divided by this bar. And, meron siyang group name, such as the clipboard, the font, paragraph, styles, and editing. So, under the home tab, we have five groups. Okay? Uh, groups organizes different commands. So, sa tingin niyo, alin kayo dito yung mga commands? Of course, yung mga commands are everything na nakikita natin inside the group. For example, ito. Lahat ng mga clickables natin dito ay tinatawag nating commands. Kasi nandito siya sa group. According to the definition. Okay? So, lahat ito, commands. So, bakit tinawag siyang ribbon? Maybe because... Uh, there are three components na interrelated. Ano? For example, yung font group natin, of course, yung mga commands na available dito are related to the fonts. And sa paragraph naman, lahat ng mga commands dito are related to paragraph. Ano po? So, meron siyang um, organized groups. 
Okay po. So, the ribbon, again, is composed of three components. The tabs, the groups, and the commands. Lahat ng mga clickables, tawag natin dyan ay commands. Okay? So, ano ay yung next part natin? So, the next part would be this tiny button. Ito maliit na button na to. Okay? So, click natin siya. Anong tawag dyan? Um, it is called Dialog Box Launcher. So, the Dialog Box Launcher opens a dialog box or task pane that provides more options. Okay. Kung mapapansin nyo, kapag gumamit na kayo ng mga computers, of course, I am sure na gumamit na kayo, lahat ng mga nagpa-prompt sa computer ninyo, ang tawag dyan ay Dialog Box. Okay? So, of course, uh, yung Dialog Box Launcher, of course, uh, it is used to launch the dialog box. So, paano? Alin yung dialog box launcher dito? So, the dialog box launcher ay itong maliit na button na to. So, when we click this button po, it provides more option. So, ibig sabihin po, there is still other commands available uh, aside from these commands na presented. Okay? So, pag nakita mo po itong dialog box launcher, ibig sabihin meron ka pang ibang commands na available. So, click lang natin to and uh, ayan, makikita natin yung ibang commands na pwede natin gamitin. For example, ito sa fun. Click lang natin tong dialog box launcher, then meron siyang dialog box na magpa-prompt and makikita natin dito yung mga available na commands na hindi po displayed dito. Okay? So, meaning, kapag hindi po natin nakita yung dialog box launcher, kagaya nitong editing, wala siyang dialog box launcher. Ibig sabihin po, all the available commands under this group are already presented. So, wala na siyang bibigay pa. Ano? Uh, ito na, binigay niya na lahat. Wala nang iba. <laughs> okay? Now, the next part is itong pang-anim. Ito, I'm sure familiar na kayo dito. Ano kayang tawag dito? Okay, the sixth part is the scroll bar. So, the scroll bar moves the document vertically or it is not only limited vertically but also horizontally depende sa wide ng screen natin ano po? so tingnan natin alin ba yung scroll bar dito yung scroll <laughs> alin ba yung scroll bar dito yung scroll bar dito ay itong part okay? so makikita mo ito yung scroll bar so, sabi ko kanina hindi lang po siya vertically but also horizontally depende po sa laki ng screen ninyo Kung makikita mo to sa baba, nagkaroon ako ng scroll bar kasi po uh, responsive naman yung Microsoft Word natin. Okay? So, it is not only vertically but also horizontally. Okay? Ang tawag natin dyan ay scroll bar. The next part would be ito. Ito yung pinaka-familiar sa atin. Uh, some of my students sinasabi nila, ang tawag daw dito ay coupon band. <laughs> Hindi po coupon ba ito? <laughs> Hindi ito co-combined, okay? Ano kayo ang tawag dito? <laughs> so, ang tawag po dito ay document area. So, in the document area, this is where you type your text. So, dito ka nagta-type ng mga text mo, ng mga data and content ng document mo. Okay? So, in this case, ito yung document area ko. So, dito ako magta-type, okay? Dito ako magta-type ng data ko. Now, Nakikita nyo ba to na blinking na to? Yung blinking na to ay tinatawag nating insertion point. So in the insertion point, this is where you start typing. So dito ka mag-start typing. Okay? So kung nandito naman yung insertion point ko, of course, dito ako mag-start magta-type. Okay? So kung nasaan yung insertion point mo, of course, doon ka mag-start typing. Okay po? Now, what would be the next part? The next part is ito, pinakababa. So, ano kayong tawag dito? So, it is what you call the status bar. So, the status bar displays the document information such as the number of pages on which the insertion point appears, the total number of pages, and the proofing errors indicator, and even the view buttons. Okay, tingnan natin siya. Ito yung status bar ko. So, the status bar ko is depending on nasaan located yung 
uh, insertion point ko. In this case, nandito siya sa first page. So, makikita mo siya, page 1 of 3. So, all in all, meron akong 3 pages and currently, andito ako sa page 1. Gets? Pero kapag uh, nag-move ako pababa and ilagay ko dito yung insertion point ko, andito ako sa last page, then mapan mapapansin mo, page 3 of 3. Kasi andito yung insert insertion point ko. Okay? And all in all, I have 1,195 1, words. So, bakit siya tinawag na status bar? Kasi dito mga makikita yung status na document mo. Ilang words na ba? Ilang pages na ba? So, dito mo siya titignan. Ikaw, bilang studyante, kung meron kang assignment or quiz na essay type and sabi natin 500 words essay, so, hindi ka na magka-count. Ano? Hindi ka na magka-count ng isa-isa na word. Makikita mo na lang siya dito sa status bar. Okay? Ayan. So, para mas madali na yan sa inyo. Okay po? Now, the next part would be Ito. Ano kayong tawag dito? So, ang tawag dito sa baba ay the view buttons. Okay. The view buttons, uh, they display the buttons such as print layout, full screen reading, web layout, outline, or draft. So, basically, the view buttons. So, dito natin makikita yung mga available functions or commands uh, sa pagpalit ng view natin. For example, gusto ko parang book siya. Ayan, parang libro. Ayan. So, ikiklik ko lang tong button na to. Or command na to. So, gusto ko isahan lang siya, pantay lang siya. Ayan. Or kung gusto ko parang web, parang website. So, click ko itong web na to. Okay? So, in this case, dito muna tayo sa print layout. Okay? Ayan. Now, the next part is, ito, pang sampu. Uh, the tenth part, itong area na to, ay tinatawag nating control buttons. So, control buttons, uh, they minimize, maximize, restore, and close the window. Of course, from the word itself, control button. Ibig sabihin, andito yung control natin. Kung gusto kong palitin yung uh, window ko, palakin yung window, i-close yung window, o restore yung window. So, andito yan. Now, saan natin makikita yung control buttons? Actually, yung control buttons, andito naman yan sa top uh, right part. Okay? Sa top most part right. <laughs> Basta, dyan sa right corner. Okay po? So, ano naman yung function ng control buttons? So, sa control buttons, you can minimize, maximize, or close the window. Okay po? Hindi po ito X yung tawag dito ha. Kalimutan na nyo na yung mga X na yan. Kasi madalas uh, yung tawag natin dito is X mo na yan. X mo na yung application na yan. So mas, uh, the right term would be close. Okay? Para hindi naman masyadong masakit. <laughs> okay po? So yun yung function ng control buttons. With the S. Kasi madami yung button na gagamitin natin dito. Okay? And the next one is zoom level and zoom slider. So, um, the zoom level and zoom slider opens the zoom dialog box and maximize or minimize the view by sliding the zoom slider. So, yung kinatawag natin na zoom in, zoom out. So, pwede nating slide yung zoom slider, pwede bawasan or dagdagan. Okay po? Or pwede natin i-click lang tong minus sign and plus sign. Okay? So, ayun. So, Meron pa ba? O wala na. So, yun lang po yung major parts ng Microsoft Word. For more videos, related videos, kindly check out my part 2 nitong Microsoft Word. Kasi yung part 1 is more of the major parts lang ng Microsoft Windows. And the second part would be, isa-isahin na natin yung mga ribbons, yung mga tabs, ano ba yung available na command sa tabs, ano ba yung mga groups na nandyan, and paano ba gamitin yung mga commands natin. So, check out sa next video ko. Okay? So, thank you so much and bye!